The 2020 hurricane season has already begun, which means if you have not already prepared, it is important that you get started now. I spoke with the communications director with the Consumer Product Safety Commission, Joseph Mardiak, about the supplies you need before the storm hits. So hurricane season is underway and during a pandemic, stress levels are even higher. So experts say staying prepared is the best way to reduce that anxiety. I think we all know that's true. So joining us this morning, the communications director with the Consumer Product Safety Commission, Joseph Martiak. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here, Kelly. So how important is it right now to start that prep for hurricane season? I mean, we've already had three tropical s storms. Well, you're right. The experts are already saying this is going to be an above normal season for hurricanes and tropical storms. I think they're talking about 19 tropical storms and maybe up to 10 hurricanes, half of those hurricanes being major. So it's so important to be informed, be prepared, to be safe, and to make preparation ahead of time. And that includes, you know, buying a generator, but we know that comes with risk if it's not used properly. What should you do if you lose power and need to use that generator? Well, I think there's things to think about before the storm and then after the storm has come. Before the storm, it's important to get yourself, if you don't already have them in your house, some carbon monoxide alarms and some smoke alarms. Carbon monoxide is an invisible killer. It is a gas that is poisonous that you can't smell and you can't see, but it can kill within minutes. So it's very important to get those alarms in your home. If you already have them, check the batteries to make sure that they're working. Secondly, before the storm, if you're going to have a portable generator for power later, read the manual in the directions now. That seems like a very basic tip, but it's so important to do it in a calm moment as opposed to in the storm when you don't have power. And third, Go out and get some flashlights and batteries right now. Again, a simple purchase, but it's going to come in so handy later. Any final takeaways, um, especially that we know we're going to have such an active hurricane season? Yes, uh, a couple things. If you have to go to an evacuation center, they suggest you take hand sanitizer, your cleaning supplies, and your masks. What we want to remind you is keep those cleaning supplies and those uh, sanitizers, hand sanitizers away from children. In this time with the pandemic and everyone is so busy just dealing with the pandemic, it's going to be important, FEMA and CDC tell you that if you have to go to an evacuation center, they suggest you take hand sanitizer, your cleaning supplies, and your masks. What we want to remind you is keep those cleaning supplies and those uh, sanitizers, hand sanitizers, away from children. It can be poisonous for them if it's swallowed. And keep it in the child-resistant bottles that they come in. Keep your medications also away from kids and keep them in those child-resistant containers. Again, it's something to plan on ahead of time so that after the storm, if you have to go to an evacuation center, your bag is packed properly for that. Joseph Mardiak, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was a pleasure. Thank you.